All right, guys. So check it out. Here it is. Brand new box. Five hundred dollars and quarters, and uh, was able to uh, switch out that other box I had. All those brand new ones. I know I said I was going to check it at the bank. Um, I didn't do that. Take my chances. Um, that one looks pretty new. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> had me worried for a second there. I thought, oh no. Jinxed myself by saying I was going to look at it at the bank. And I didn't do it. But, uh, yeah, alright, cool. So maybe there's some old ones in here. We'll have a look. But, uh, yeah, wanted to let you know. Exchange that box. We got some corner hunting to do. Okay, guys. Look at that. That's like half of a box already. I've got a few more rolls here. Look at this, though. Just open this one up. And, uh, man, oh, man. Surprise, surprise. Look at right here. This might be a silver quarter. I've been going through these kind of like a zombie just <laughs> it just seems like uh, it's just clad after clad after clad but then I saw this take a look at it ah oh, that'd be so awesome Alright, so I got this uh, roll of quarters opened here, taking a look, and I noticed pretty nice and shiny uh, Denver, Denver Mint, check it out, the first, uh, for me anyway, my first find of this 2015 Saratoga, see it says New York over there on the left. British Surrender, 1777. Pretty cool. Alright, you know what? I had to come back to this. I originally thought it was silver. And now, I just wonder if I'm going crazy. <laughs> it's a Philadelphia Mint Mark. It looks to be uncirculated. Get that to focus in on the reading, or the, the edging there, the readed edge. You can see, and there's like no signs of copper. Here's a really nice condition, 2013 Mount Rushmore. And you can see the edge. It comes into focus here a little better. There we go. Not damaged. Looks perfect. But you can definitely see that copper in there. If I put it next to this one, there is a huge difference. I'm just really confused on what is going on here. Is there any chance that this is a silver... Philadelphia I mean look at it let me just split this roll the coins throw it right there and look at how that stands out there's no copper at all that is just so strange to me Two thousand and ten hot springs. What do you guys think? Uh, yeah, I need your opinions on this for sure. Look at that. Okay, so I'm down to the last 
four rolls, well, four unopened, just opened this one, and uh, so yeah, I got fooled by that other coin before being silver, I thought it was silver, still not sure, but take a look at this, this is kind of like deja vu, this looks like a silver coin to me, what do you bet? What do you bet? It's another one of these. Focus. There you go. 2010 Hot Springs. Let's take a look. Oh, 1964. That is silver. Very cool. Yeah, it's a late night, guys. I'm sure you can uh, hear my voice. I'm pretty tired, but uh, awesome. That is too, too freaking cool. An actual silver quarter. I don't think I've found very many hunting quarters. There are just not that many out there. This one's in really nice shape. A lot of the silver that I find seems to be that way. But how cool, man. 1964. That's awesome. Alright. There's still hope yet. Let's see. This one looks a little silvery. Wouldn't that be something? Okay. Not that. It's a 2000. Man, let's see. put it next to the silver it's a little hard to tell the silver's a little more dull but uh, yeah let's see usually you see like a copper line it's a little blurry huh. well we'll save that and take a look at it later but pretty stoked about that alright guys we're finally at the end that is all the go backs practically five hundred dollars and quarters right here this is what we pulled out of it give you a closer look here these uh top three they're not special or anything like that i just pulled them out because they were kind of a uh, this one's more probably oxidation and maybe it was in like a uh, wishing you know like a wishing fountain or something like that this one was uh, painted like all green at one time and this one was like a greenish blue at one time so I kinda just pulled those out when I found them actually wasn't I was thinking I wasn't gonna be able to find, to find much so then after that it's kinda cool to find a few of these um, See, 2015 Saratoga that's a new one for me so that was cool to uh, find that one let me jump over those the Bombay hook 2015 believe it or not this was the only one in all of the five hundred dollars worth of quarters that was the only one and then this is the uh, Great Sand Dunes 2014. Oops. Let's see, Denver Mint. And same thing. Yeah, both Denver Mints. But uh, yeah, I, there was only about a handful of those too. So those are kind of cool. Not sure. If uh, I've seen that one too many times, so I pulled those three, and then let's drop down to this. This was amazing. 1964. Finally did it. Finally found a silver quarter in circulation. It, honestly, this might be the first one that I have ever found. Um, coin roll hunting, a box of quarters. Found some cool proofs before. 
I just don't think I've ever found an actual silver quarter. So that was awesome. And then uh, these two here, really strange. Leave your uh, thoughts on these two. The only similarities that I can tell right off the bat is they're both Philadelphia Mint Mark coins. I don't know what that would have to do with it. But there's absolutely no sign of copper on either one of these uh, reeded edges. And if I put it, put them with the silver, they honestly look like fresh, uncirculated silver coins next to a little bit older silver coin really remarkable so it's kind of like a first for me I mean let's take these right here they're uh, uncirculated they look like little watch gears put one on uh, either end of the actual silver and then the two that were questioning yeah I mean look at that completely Totally noticeable. You can see the copper on the ends. The three coins in the middle look silver to me. But they're, I don't know if they are. They're definitely. There's the 64, the real silver. They're definitely P mint marks. There are no S mint marks. But I'll be darned if they do not look like silver and they don't show any copper at all I'm trying to <laughs> spin them around for you guys and see but nowhere so let me know some kind of a silver collectible set maybe 2010 And uh, one ten years earlier, 2000. Anyways, the mystery continues on those two, but this one we know for a fact is silver, so we're happy. We'll cut the video here. Got a lot of uh, rolling to do. Get these turned back into the bank. Thanks for watching, guys. And happy hunting.